Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl Rocky from the It's a Real Podcast and Rocky's Reactions. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Help us get monetized. Um, and before I go in today's Rocky's Reactions, remember I have my own personal YouTube channel, Life is Rocky, where I have my Becoming a Feminine Woman series. I just started my Mommy Fever series, as well as my That's Mrs. Smart to You playlist. So make sure you check out those links in the description box below um, and subscribe over there too. All right. So today on Rocky's Reactions, um, it's another one of Chantel Simone's. Again, I'll be providing the link in the description box below. If you would like to see this video on screen as I'm reacting to it, subscribe so we can hire a video editor. Okay. The title of today's video is Warning for Pick Me's. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? following the crowd expect criticism and unfortunately the crowd in our black community is black women telling us that never depend on a man don't trust a man so if you're not following that crowd and you actually want to learn how to work with a man expect a lot of criticism expect a lot of name calling yo yo the projection be fucking real because most of these women who are complaining about the ain't shit niggas want a man so I'm a pick me because not only did I want a man, chose a man, had a man chose me, and then I'm trying to help you, you going to attack me? Because I've been called a pick me, which is why I wanted to do this a video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the projection, because if you were really happy in your single life, you wouldn't be talking about it online, would you? You be out living your happy and single life. I'm just saying. Hey YouTube, it's Chantel. I have been using my channel to speak with women who want to learn how to be better at dating and relationships, who want to understand men's perspective, and who want to learn how to love and work with a man so we can start seeing more two-parent households in the black community. And since I've been doing that with my channel, I have received a lot, a lot of hateful comments. This is a warning for my woman who desire to want, to, to, to love a man, to work with a man, and genuinely desire to work with a man, not just to have a black man on your arm or have a black man in the household just because it look good and you know, black love is a trend, but those women who actually genuinely want to look within and take accountability and do the hard work to be the best version of yourself, you are going to receive a lot of criticism from family members, from friends, from people who don't even know you. Since I started this journey of learning what men, like learning men's perspective, trying to understand men, I've received a lot of criticism from- Yo, okay, so first, yes, my man showed me into the manosphere because he was subtly trying to get me to understand what he had been saying. And it worked. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta hear from somebody else. But, um, so make sure you share, because a lot of women need to hear from a woman's perspective, even though the res resulting lack of accountability isn't going to actually allow them to hear me, even though I'm a woman, but you damn sure ain't hearing it from men, so you just don't wanna be in a relationship? Is that what you're saying? Okay, then. But anyways, um... I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so when I was in the manosphere, I was already reconnecting with my feminine energy. So I wasn't as triggered and I was able to receive and understand the logical aspects of what they were saying. And I was like, damn, you make sense. So I really like my connection to my feminine energy definitely increased just by listening to the manosphere. So I think we started with Kevin Samuels, then we went to the Roommates podcast, and then Fresh and Fit, and then Manosphere Highlights Daily. Oh no, we started with mediocre tutorials and reviews. Um, but now, because I got what I needed, and they kind of hating on women sometimes, I'm just like, yeah, I got what I needed. I grew from this. I no longer need it. So now, I still watch Manosphere manosphere highlights daily just because i think he gives great breakdowns on some of the stuff that's going on in society um i also continue to watch the roommates podcast just because they're really centered on growth and relationships i really enjoy their their channel um and then we're trying to find some new ones i think the one with sham booties um 
husband, Jared. I forgot what that podcast is called. But I think I enjoyed them. And then Ava and Preach. I, that was a before and after. Like, I was watching them before, and I still enjoy them. Because, um, again, they're more about growth. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to find more women channels who are talking about the same topics. Chantel Simone's obviously one. I'm one. Please share. Um, but I'm trying to find more women. And the thing about that I was resistant to the women is because they desire to be a traditional wife where I desire to be a balanced woman. And the difference in that is I'm not looking to the past for my example. I'm seeing what existed in the past. I'm seeing what exists currently being the modern woman. And I'm saying, let's imagine a woman, wife, and mother of the future. And that woman, wife, and mother of the future, the woman, wife, and mother that I want to be is someone who's balanced in her duality of energies, her masculine and feminine energy, as well as looking at her individual personal strengths, as well as the personalized relationship and seeing what the fuck works, okay? Um, so that's my shtick, right? Uh, but yeah since I've come into that and even when I would defend Kevin Samuels on online and stuff women be coming at me and pick me's and stuff even though I'm just like saying like some shit you don't want to accept it doesn't make it any less true just because you don't like it like so and I took that in because you know a, the definition of a pick me shit let's look it up urban dictionary pick me pick me pick me urban dictionary oh wow <laughs> they got signs of a pick me girl on YouTube is the first thing that popped up. But let me. All right. So a pick me is a woman that is willing to do anything for male approval. She will embarrass or throw other women under the bus to achieve this goal. The unfortunate thing about a pick me is usually the men are trying to seek approval from are. Is usually. The unfortunate thing about a pick me is usually the men they are they are trying to seek approval from are of poor quality and treat women badly, leaving little real benefit for the pick me. So one <laughs> that's real specific. <laughs> right. So I've been called a pick me. So because of that definition, I was like, fuck. Like, am I throwing women under the bus? And it's like, no, I'm just holding women accountable. I'm shattering the Disney fantasy that we all grew up on. Check out my episode about that in my Becoming a Feminine Woman series. And it's like, yeah, I'm I'm saying what reality is. You just don't want to hear it. And then, no, I'm not saying settle for poor quality or men and tr who treat women badly. I'm not saying that at all. Healthy relationships are the baseline for every interaction that I have. So I'm not saying that. But you think just because he's incompatible with you, just because um, he wants different things from a woman is makes him bad. And that is not the case, right? It's not the case at all. When a man is fucking abusive, that shit is wrong. When a man is fucking lying, that shit is wrong, right? But why are you going to the extreme of that? Your baseline should be healthy dynamics. So you should, you should yourself should know that you are not accepting that, nor that other women are telling you to accept that. But we are saying that fantasy man doesn't exist. G uh, Aladdin had a whole ass genie. Hercules was a damn god. I'm just saying, okay? So anyways, now that I've come to that awareness, I'm like, y'all can call me, pick me all you want. I'm a pick me and proud because I got my man and I'm trying to help you get yours. But you just want to sit in misery loves company complaining all day. Like, <laughs> okay, let's get back to it, shall we? From people in my personal life, from people on my social media, and from people on YouTube, of course, where it's concerning to me and it's heartbreaking because it's as if we want to just stay where we are. We want to stay in our pain and our anger, and we never want to get to the point to understand our men. We think that our men should understand us, or men should accept us, but we aren't willing to. So take me as I am. Or have nothing at all. First off, you should be growing within yourself throughout your entire life. So, you should be growing in who you want to be as a partner or becoming a better partner all your life. So, 
If that's what you want, I'm just saying. To put that step forward to do the necessary work based on what i'm observing if a black woman was to express interest in learning how to and that's another thing and that's something that i had to realize and just respect not everybody's committed to growth some people are committed to staying who the fuck they are and they see nothing wrong with that and i just can't rock with those people because we have different values okay to love and work with a non-black man she receives a lot more support and a lot more encouragement than those of us who express interest in learning to love a black man um as i said words from listen black love was the only option for me because i'm committed to the black family right so and you need black love for a black family i'm just saying <laughs> but uh yeah because otherwise you have to consider different people right mm. anyways um yeah so whether that was with a man or a woman i'm like they're gonna be black or i'm gonna be single that's that's just how committed i am strangers on on youtube they're gonna call you names pick me mommy toxic all these kind of things call um, it in your to personal me life your because friends. you are projecting and i know who the fuck I am. I just remembered my fiance's on a call with his family and I'm all cursing and shit. But I know who the fuck I am, okay? So call me. Can't hurt me no more. Friends are going to look down at you. They're going to think that you are going crazy. They're going to try to convince you that these men aren't worth it. Um, they're going to try. They want to share their stories with you. They want to share their misery with you. And they just want you to sit there and talk about how much these men ain't sugar honey icy and these men ain't worth it and if you were to ever express like hey you know i want to learn how to attract a better man i want to learn how to work with a man once i attract him or you know is there something i'm doing wrong why my relationships haven't been successful they're not going to want to entertain that conversation they're just going to want to talk about how negative men are um, this is just a warning. This is based on what I've been observing in my And I've said all up and through Rocky's reactions as well as my Becoming a Feminine Woman series Choose better Because once I started choosing better again, check out how I manifested my dream man My options got a hell of a lot better because I wasn't accepting less Become better decision makers But they don't even want to do that <laughs> Jesus personal life and a lot of women can go through go through this um it's to the point where i don't even entertain conversations with anyone anymore and that's another thing too you're um there there are very few like-minded women who wants to actually do the work to to be with a, a man a black man who actually want to do the work to better themselves in relationships. A lot of these women just wanna sit there and expect the men to take them for how they are. So if you are on that path of wanting to work with a man, wanting to better yourself for your next relationship or for your current relationship, just be prepared to get a lot of backlash for people to talk behind your back, for people to tell you that you are um, dimming your light, that your self-esteem is low. As I said, there's a lot of pain and a lot of hurt in the black community and black women we need to look within we need to ask ourselves why are we so bitter towards our black men and um like go to therapy you know <laughs> ah, yeah but then as therapy is dominated by women therapists you got to think about the direction that that could be going sometimes the question of how can you be a better partner isn't asked because the therapist herself doesn't know to ask it. I didn't. So, yeah. Um, gotta, gotta dissect, right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was definitely with my ex. I was bitter, 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 bitter. And I think once I'd let him go, that's when our relationship actually improved. Just because I let him go. I was like, you know what? <laughs> He gonna do what he want, and I'ma just be here and be me and loving myself. Yeah. Yeah, you've been hurt. Yeah, you've had some really bad relationships in the past, but allowing that your previous relationships to affect how you interact with all black men, 
I mean, that's not wise. It's your girl Chantel. I mean, it's a heavy video. Um, but you know, I just wanted to warn women who are on this journey of genuinely wanting to be better and they might get in these clap back. Trust me, it's normal, it's it's regular, like it's expected if you're not following. So yeah, call me and pick me because I discovered who I am as a woman, who I want to be as a wife, and who I want to be as a mother. And you mad because you don't have that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> Should be a spicy one. <laughs> and make sure you share. Again, we need more conversations from women because men in the manosphere, you also got to think about it. Talk shows on TV is women dominated, right? So talk radio as well as uh, YouTube is where men are starting to get a platform for their voice and we're starting to hear them. And a lot of women are rejecting what they have to say. So maybe they can hear it from women. Please share, help me get my voice out there so we can have these conversations. But all right, uh, <laughs> make sure you subscribe too. Help us get monetized. Help this black family. Black love couple, yes. <laughs> And then uh, check out our other podcast videos as well. Because our actual podcast is, is both of us talking and hearing both of our perspectives. So yeah. But all right. Have a beautiful day. Take care of you. Peace and love.